Today we're going to take a look at scheduling a report in Sharewell Service Management. I've got my client tool open and I'm going to go up and take a look at a one step that I had built today. So if I go to one step, one step manager, in the root of my one step manager I have a one step called scheduled report. Now you'll notice that this one step is associated really with nothing. It's associated with the none. I'm not going to build that necessarily against a particular object like the incident or the change or the problem because I'm going to run this from the scheduler and that scheduler really doesn't have a context. You're not running from an incident or from a problem or from a change. So what you're going to need to do is have that report predefined and within that report you're going to want to have a search group built against that. So let me take a look at the report that I'm using first. I'm going to go to Tools, Reports, Report Manager, and I have a report here called Closed Incidents. If I right click and edit the properties of that report, you can see that I'm using a search group. So I've got a group already that's taking a look for all the incidents in my system that have the status equals closed. So that report has the search built into it. Normally you can run reports against a search group that you have on the screen. So if maybe you've done a search for all closed incidents that were closed within the last, last week that were owned by Henry. Those results would be in a grid on your screen and then you could run that report against the results from the grid. But again, since you're going to be scheduling this report, you're not really in a context of the incident. So you need to have that search built in to the report. So I'm going to cancel out of here and I'm going to go back to my one step manager and let's take a look at that one step again. So I'm going to right click on my scheduled report one step. I'm going to edit that one step and this particular one step has two parts to it. What I want to do is actually run the report, generate it to a PDF, save that to the hard drive and then run an email that picks that PDF up and emails it off to management. So it's a two part one step. So the first part is to run the report. So if, let me edit this first step here. And that is just a step of run report. And then I've pointed to that closed incident report and picked him. And then I said, I want to write this guy to a file, to the local hard drive, to a file called closed incidents report.pdf. So it's going to print it out to a PDF file. And then the second step is sending an email. So let me edit that step. That's just going to send an email to the IT management team uh, with the subject of monthly closed incidents report. And then I have attached, by browsing, I've attached that monthly report that I've written to the local hard drive. So that just takes that PDF, attaches it to the outgoing email, and then I've got a little body of the text here attached as the monthly closed incidents report. Please review and contact the service desk manager with any questions. So I'm going to click cancel here, I'm going to cancel here, I'm going to close my one step manager and then let's jump out to the admin tool and take a look at where we would put that in the scheduler. So I'm going to click on scheduling, edit my schedule and then I have this report scheduled to run every month on the first of the month at 6 p.m. So let me edit that schedule and just show you what that does. So I've named it I've scheduled it to recur every night at 6 p.m. on the month, first day of each month with no end date in sight. So he'll just keep sending it on the first of the month, first of the month at 6 p.m. And then the action is to run a one step and then I have just pathed out to that scheduled report one step that I built in the none association. So that takes the one step, runs it on a scheduled basis, writes the report to a PDF file to the hard drive, picks that report up with the email, and sends that out to management. And then the final step here is the error handler. So it says, if that job fails, go ahead and run it next month anyways, but please send a notification to me. So I've got another little one step that just sends an email to the service desk manager saying that that particular report failed. So that's a quick way that you can take and schedule a report now you could of course have just scheduled it and written it to a hard drive or to a network share or something, but in this case it's a two-part, one-step. Runs the report, 
saves it to a PDF, grabs it, and emails that out. So again, that's a quick and easy way to schedule a report in ShareWell.